Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today by loading up a one inch brush with some white and just a tiniest touch of yellow. And we're going to do something kind of different today. So I'm just going to start up here with this color. Maybe just a, a hint more of the yellow as we work down. I think in our painting today, we're going to do a little sort of a little forest painting kind of looks Oh, it looks like we're deep, deep in the forest today. There's a little, little creek or a little stream down here in the foreground, maybe. This is some sunlight that's kind of filtering through, through some of the trees. Now with a nice light purple color on the same one inch brush, we can just drop in a little bit of, kind of like a purple mist or haze back in here. Let that kind of float right around the, the nice light area. Maybe, maybe up in through here we want some too. Because this is a purple color and not so much blue, we can kind of mix it together with the yellow without getting any problems. Problems being the bright green color we kind of don't want back here. Now it's time to blend all of this together. So I've changed to a clean two inch brush here. This is a, this is a new brush. That's why it looks different. Today I just decided to, it was time to bring a new one into the mix. I like to have one for dark, one for light, and then one to do some of this nice fine blending. Now with our soft hair blender brush and a little bit of yellow and white, let's come right here, right up here at the top and just sort of drop in a nice little bright area. See that you kind of just, just let this paintbrush work around with the one inch brush and the same background colors. We can come, let's come right here and just begin to tap on the most subtle little shape you can create here. I mean, look, there's almost no contrast. You can barely see it. Oh, and that's great for starters. That's just about what we want. And then as we work forward, we'll go just tiniest little bit darker, but not much. See how we can create this very misty look as if the mist is floating over the trees and just breaking up the light. It's giving you these soft shapes. Now with our filbert brush, we can just shape a few little trees back here with highlights. Now maybe we want these to be very soft today. I think we do because that would just ruin the, the nice misty effect if they were too hard. We'll have some nice detailed things later on. For now, this is all we want. Just a hint of color. Work it in with the brush. Keep dabbing over it. You see that? And just, oh, it melts right back into the, the color we just put down. Now with our filbert brush loaded evenly on both sides with a little bit of blue, white, and black. Let's come right here and begin dropping in a few little background trees. These trees should be kept so light, so pale. You can just barely see them. And you give it a lot of nice, nice character. I don't want any straight ones. Every, every tree should have at least a little bit of a bend. Now we're going to want to push a few of these trees way back. So to do that, I just have a, a clean blender brush here. And I'm just lightly going over the tree trunks. This brush is so soft, we can do this without having to worry too much. There's not a lot of paint in the background and we'll just, we'll just kind of melt these trees right back. Now with our filbert brush and some black, brown, and white. We don't need much paint on the brush, so I kind of wipe some of it off on the paper towel. And maybe we want, oh yeah, a nice tree right there. This one has a little bit of color in it. It's got a little bit of brown. So it kind of appears a little closer for you. It makes it a little more detailed. Slightly darker. There's one right there. Next we can rub in just a little underpainting here and kind of work around the trees. 
Now, as you can see here, I have a little basic sketch for you. I just took the filbert brush and a little bit of the tree color and just kind of sketched out an idea of where I might want to go with this painting. Kind of helps me stay on track and it kind of gives you a little heads up as to what we're doing. Don't worry here if you just kind of cover up some of your trees. We can go back in and straighten them up very quickly. And of course this is light, but it's just the underpainting. We will be coming back and adding some nice little highlights. Kind of throw some of that color up in through there if you want to. We'll be putting more paint over there later. Now as we get away from the background, the color should start getting ooh, a little bit deeper and darker. Down here, the underpainting is almost black, just like normal. Now with the one inch brush, we'll tap through a little bit of yellow, green, and some nice light gray. And maybe way back here. Let's just begin tapping on some highlight. Tap lightly. I don't wanna, don't wanna smoosh it in too hard. Now with our filbert brush, we can just scrub in a little bit of an underpainting here for this water. Maybe we're, this is gonna be a little stream down here. And so we need a little bit of, we need a little bit of dark color so we can put the highlights on top. Now we can begin to drop on just a, a hint of highlight down here on the water. Just kind of pull right across like that. You get this nice little, nice little highlight for you. And there's a little waterfall right there maybe. And then you kind of let it, let it run. Just brush in a little bit of this color. Now with the filbert brush and a little bit of brown and white, we can go ahead and just just add on a little bit of highlight to only a couple of these rocks. Now I'll maybe just set some paint down and kind of move it with the tip of the brush. And that way create a lot of, lot of little details pretty easily. Now I don't want to do this so much that I just totally lose all this contrast. Oh, I like the contrast in here. It's that light against dark and I don't want to lose it. Like the areas in here, if you're going to put any, just a, just a hint tiniest little drop of highlight and then and then leave the rest dark. Next I'll tap a blender brush through a little bit of yellow and green and white. And maybe way back here we want just a, a soft little grassy area. Now it's kind of funny I'm using this brush. The reason I'm doing it is because I can get a little bit finer texture and it's shaped just like your big brushes are. So you can make this Nice grass. Just make sure to wash the brush out well when you're done. Now I'll tap a fan brush through a little bit of nice light yellow and green. And okay, way back here we need some leaves. Now I know this looks crazy, but, but these are actually backlit leaves. They're just, ooh, they're really shining back here. Don't worry, we're gonna have some more that are a little darker. So we will have some contrast, but some of these will still show through. And I think it'll be a nice little effect. They're very loose and open and airy. There we go. With a nice dark brown on the fan brush. We can simply just tap in a few very loose and open leaves here. I really don't wanna go overboard. That would kind of ruin this nice little effect we have going. It's quite pleasing. Just need a few leaves here. Oh yeah, there we go. Split your brush open, kind of mush it into the paint, and then when you come up here, you get a million different little spots and variations. And oh, they look so, so nice. They look like little open textured leaves without you really having to do much. All you do is tap and watch the leaves appear. Now with the filbert brush, we'll load it up with some nice dark black evenly on both sides. And all right, we're gonna add one more tree. Oh, and this tree's gonna be right here and it's gonna come way down like that. Look how it just pushes that light way back into the distance. Now that one was the hard one. We'll just do, let's do an easy one right there. Now maybe in our painting today, we have a couple of birch trees up here. So I'll just start maybe on the right hand side here because our light's coming from somewhere 
up in there. I'll just give it a little pull with the knife. And this creates a nice little highlight. Now with a little bit of brown and white on the palette knife, we can just, just rub in a little bit of a highlight on this rock here. You see, I really don't want to get this too bright because I don't want to take away from the center of the painting. That's where I want your eye to go when you first see this painting. Now with the one inch brush, we can very lightly just tap in a few little grassy things here in the foreground. This area is a little more detailed. So we see these nice individual shapes. All right, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my instructional DVDs, and now my paintbrush line. And thanks for watching.